with grief. I mean, the car not starting is just the catalyst for us talking about the real real issue. And the real issue is we, we've lost this friend and we're dealing with the grief of it. And we don't know how to deal with it. And being someone who has been here, you're mad at everything because nothing seems right. You don't understand it. So everything has the ability to make you mad. And so in this moment, this car has the ability to make her upset and it becomes the catalyst for this emotional moment between these two friends. And we don't see the comfort that they're able to find until they dive into the memories of the person. Because once you dive into the memories of the person that you lost, it's almost as if we're focusing on their life as opposed to this very abrupt ending of their life, this very abrupt removal of them from my life. Let's focus on all the memories that we have with that person. Um, you know, so this was very emotional charged, emotionally charged. Um, it definitely was a good way to represent the grief quickly. So I think that they picked a good moment to kind of dive into this, 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 this very complicated time in someone's life. And there's so many moments that you could have used, you know, to tell this story, but this was just a very um, interesting moment to kind of dive into this and in, in unique in a way. This ship is for good grief. I love this unassuming location. This car, they're just having a, a chat. It looks totally normal. Just a conversation regarding why the car won't start. Um, but they just get into such a deep remembrance honoring their recently deceased best friend. The comfort they give each other is so moving and relatable, it's just quite adorable. Even the fries argument, uh, it's just so cute. It brings levity to their grief, their deeply profound pain of losing. And this title is also the best one. I really liked it. The performances were outstandingly good and honest. Uh, I had a great time watching this. Good grief. I like the um, title right off the bat. Uh, really fits this film. Um, I thought this was a really interesting take on a moment two people were having um, after losing one of their loved ones um, rather than doing it at the funeral. It's afterwards in their car and I believe it's the car of the person that was deceased. Um, I just thought it was a nice moment, nice camera shots in the car. I like the different angles and the different perspectives in the car. Good sound and really nice writing in the script. I thought the script was really nice. So in the camera work, technically everything was really well done. So good job to you guys. Good Grief strikes a great balance between poignant yet funny and I enjoy the creativity of how it accomplishes that using dialogue and limited characters and even a limited setting. Um, really great. I really enjoyed Good Grief. I think uh, grief can be a heavy subject and it manifests in many different ways. And I think you having this start out with the car not starting and it all kind of unraveling from there is a really great um way to get into the topic that's natural and um, makes sense and there's a lot of frustration and that leads to these emotions coming out. I also think it's a great uh, way to look back on, you know, life and how, uh, you know, while grief there is frustration, there's also looking back on this uh, character's life um, and, and watching this main character go back and, and look at that. I think it was a really beautiful and really sensible representation of it. And I think it was acted out um, and, writ and written for the screen very, very well. Um, I think the pacing was great. I think the tone was really great. You could feel a lot of the emotion. It was really palpable through the screen and it came together to be a really cohesive um, and endearing piece to watch. So I really wanna say very, very well done on this film. Good grief. So I think that the play on words with this title and the famous saying um, is a very good choice by the director. Um, I think the two friends sort of connecting, or I enjoy the simplicity 
of the two friends connecting and sort of sharing in the car and grieving. It's a very touching scene um, and I think it displays for viewers uh, a good way to sort of grief, um, to grieve. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that was very, um, very important by the filmmaker to, filmmaker to do and it was very well portrayed. Um, I really liked Good Grief. Um, you talk about getting me emotionally invested like that. Uh, that speaks to good writing and good directing, I think. Um, and also good, great acting. These two carried, they had great chemistry. I really believe that they've been friends for a while. And I really, you know, sort of felt their loss. You know what I'm saying? Sympathized with them uh, off rip, which is not easy to do. You know what I mean? So I think y'all pulled that off well. Um, yeah, it was a great job. 